From the Target 12 investigators, a former state rep will ask the Supreme Court to consider overturning an order to move a strip of boulders. A judge had ruled the West Warwick Democrat had to allow access to land he sold. Now this fight may go all the way to the state's highest court. Target 12 investigator Walt Buteau has been tracking this ongoing legal saga from the very beginning and joins us with the latest. This starts with a landscaper accusing a state rep's company of illegally changing a deed. Two years into the 2017 lawsuit, and the focus remains on a blockade of boulders. The Jersey barriers in front of the private right-of-way Noons Lane and the piles of gravel and other debris in the distance must be moved by the end of next week. But former state rep Jared Noons' company, Foreign Properties, was granted an extra two weeks to ask the state Supreme Court to consider an appeal to keep this stretch of boulders in place. John Reed cold. claims he's been blocked for three years from expanding his business on this industrial lane land, accusing 4N of alleged misrepresentation and fraud for removing Noon's lane as a right-of-way to the land he bought. Reed, who's also seeking damages for the impact on his business, to took a shot at Noon's previous position, insisting 4N needs Noon's lane as much as he does. It has to be used by him to get to his own lot. And I guess Mr. Noon's learned this as being a state rep, how to waste money and time. Because that's all this is. It's wasted money and time. Would In a 2017 affidavit, Noons told the court he clearly expressed to Reed's landscaping company it would not have access to Noons Lane. Noons attorney chose not to comment after today's no hearing. Uh, Noons wasn't here and has not responded to multiple requests for comment. Noons was a four-term West Warwick Democrat but decided not to seek re-election to the General Assembly last year. With the Target 12 investigators, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.